The user interface in Lumia 9 has eliminated many of the context menus and replaced them with buttons that are located on the Advanced Options tab within the Properties dialog. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly locate objects in the library, replace selections, and make placements more aligned or more random. I'm hoping that now that these tools aren't hiding behind several clicks and layers of context menus, you'll use them because I know they're going to save you a ton of time. Let me show you. Okay, let's take a look at swapping out some of these different lounge chairs. I'm going to navigate to a view that's strategic for what I'm working on. All right, remember, the first thing you need to do is activate the select tool. I'm going to use the M key on my keyboard. Remember, keyboard shortcuts will make you fast. All right, so now once I've activated my select tool, I need to choose which collection I'm selecting from. These lounge chairs live in the outdoor collection. So now I've, I've filtered out and eliminated all the other nodes so I can only select these uh, outdoor collection objects. So that makes my, my job a little bit easier. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just click on one lounge chair and select it. So this is the properties dialog. This is where you can modify the color and uh, you can you get some different settings for different object types. But what we're talking about today is our advanced options. And if you hover on this tab here, you can see it says show advanced options and click. These are the tools I want to show you today. These guys used to be buried on the context menu. If you remember that wrench icon in Lumion 8 and in previous versions of Lumion, it was a context menu. You had to activate that wrench tool and click. And then you got um, these commands were often available in, in words. So it was just these different trees of menus. It was hard to get to them and kind of hard to understand them. But now they've been turned into these different buttons. So we do have replace selection, focus on selection, find selected in library. So some, some tools for locating objects, some tools for um, randomizing and aligning, and you get different tools as well if you have more than one object selected. So to kick things off, first, let's, let's just do our focus on selection. All right, so this button here, that's gonna zoom our, our viewport so that we're only looking at that one selection. Now, keep in mind that you can, in fact, just double click with your select tool, and that will do the exact same thing. All right, so I'll just go back over here, double click, and we do get that uh, zoom to selection. Okay. All right, so that's that first one. And then we can also do a replace selection. Now, this is a really cool function. When I click replace selection, it opens up the library. So you can see that here I'm on the outdoor library, and you could replace this selection with really anything you want. You know, you can go through any of these different uh, collections. But the outdoor collection, on the second page, we do have a handful of additional uh, deck chairs or lounge chairs. So you can just click one, and you can see it swapped out in real time. So this is a new interface. This is uh, in sharp contrast to previous versions of the Lumion where you had to kind of jump into the library again and take your eyes off your design. So this is really handy to be able to kind of cycle through all these different options and choose something else. Uh, without ever leaving build mode. That's what's critical here. Okay, so once you've kind of got your new selection, we can just say, okay, and then we're good to go. All right, so now let's see. If I select more than one object, I can hold control. You know, my, my select tool is still active. I can hold control and add two pieces to the selection. So let's go back to our advanced options, and I'm going to do a re replace selection here. So now you can see that we get both of these guys doing the exact same thing, like that. Cool. All right, so um, yeah, this one kind of looks cool. All right, we'll do that. Okay, so then I'll check on OK. And then, of course, let's see. Let's go back to our advanced selection and just see. You know, when we have more than one object selected, you start getting some of these different uh, groups and um, yeah, some different uh, options here. But for right now, let's do another uh, deselect, and we're just going to use a select. All right, we're just going to look at this again. I want to show you another one of these advanced options, and that is going to be low, or uh, find selected in library. Now, what this is good for is, you know, when I go to place, I don't want to have to then hit place and then go to the, the different, um, you know, the different collections and what page and what tab. It's hard to find things again. So if I want to like, you know, place this again, um, I can just click on it 
and then go to my advanced options and click find selected in library. And when I click on that, it opens up the library to that page and now I can easily place this again. All right, so remember uh, from some of our earlier tutorials, we do have the ability to hold R and kind of rotate this thing around. So I'm just gonna drop this on here in a few kind of uh, different rotations here like that. And then, yeah, maybe one like that, that's fine. All right, and then me personally, I like to hit M. That kind of gets me back to uh, my select tool. It's kind of my default state where I like to be. All right, so we're in good shape. Now, uh, while, we're, while we're at it, we've kind of placed these in kind of a random array, and I wanna use my select tool and hold control and add these guys to my selection. So these three selections, these three chairs, we've got them all selected. I go back to my advanced options, and let's look at some of these other um, advanced options. I'm gonna look at this from above so we can really see what's happening. All right, so one, um, something I thought was pretty cool. Let me just show you like the rotate tool. Let's go to the rotate tool. And as I'm rotating, you know, you're, you're getting these, uh, they all kind of rotate together, right? And then if I hold K, this is kind of a new thing where they're gonna look at my mouse. Now, I don't know exactly where I use this, but I can see this coming in, hand, uh, coming in handy somewhere. So that's kind of cool. And if I let go OK, it just goes back to that kind of, uh, they're all on the same rotation. But I'm gonna hold K and go like this. All right, so there's, there's a, a kind of a new shortcut with the rotation tool, holding K. Now, uh, we can also do a um, randomized rotation like that. So randomly rotating these guys all around. And I don't know that I would use that a ton. Let's just kind of bring them back in this realm. Oops, uh, let me try that again. Holding K and just kind of getting these finished up here. All right, like this and holding K. Okay. All right, so now uh, I want to look at some of these other buttons here. We've got um, align rotation. So I can click align rotation and get all these guys kind of back in order. And then I can also choose space objects evenly. Click that and that's gonna kind of space them all right in line with each other, right in a row. So those are some other handy features there. Um, you also have a couple of other um, options that we're not gonna really talk about because some of them are self-explanatory and some don't come up all the time, but there are like align height, that's really good for light bulbs. Uh, align size, maybe for like a row of trees. Uh, place on ground, totally um, if your landscape, uh, if your objects get kind of pushed up and then you've, um, you know, they're floating, you can send them all to the ground. And we talked about these other guys. Um, align position kind of puts everything right on top of each other. So we can always hit undo. You get some undesirable result, just click on that undo button, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to deselect those and let's talk about uh, another uh, use for some of these tools. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on these grasses down here. So oftentimes we want you know these these man-made objects like our lounge chairs, those need to be uh, very precisely located. But what can be really tricky is with landscape items to get those to be randomly positioned. And so we have some tools for that. So I'll go back to my select tool. Uh, I clicked on the button, but remember I like to use that M shortcut. And the, um, the collection we're gonna use is nature. All right, so this way I've, I've activated my select tool and then I've chosen which collection I wanna select from. So I can just click on one of them. Now check this out. I'm gonna expand my advanced options. We can do select all identical objects like that. See, that's gonna select all these guys for us. So grabs all the identical. There's also things like select all objects in category. You know, that one grabs all of the, uh, the category being nature. It's gonna grab all of your nature objects. Uh, that can be kind of handy. And, um, but for what we're doing right now, let's just do a select our grass, advanced options, and we're gonna select identical objects. Okay, and what we're trying to do here is randomize these a bit. Now, randomized position, I could see if, if this was kind of floating out in the middle of a field, this would work well. See what happens, it kind of like scattered them all, threw them all over the place. I'm gonna undo that. So I don't really need that one for these, 
But what I do need for these would be something like randomize rotation. See how they're kind of randomly spinning around? And then we can do randomize size. So I'll just click it until it gets a little bit uh, out of control there. See, they're getting kind of big. I can always reset the size and rotation. So click that and try again. Let's just do um, one randomized size and one randomized rotation. And I think we're in good shape. So uh, those look pretty good. I can just click on deselect all. And now we're, we're kind of, uh, we've randomized our placement. So I think we're all set. The new refined user interface in Lumion 9 has eliminated so many clicks and levels of organization and menus to get to these powerful commands. So whether you've always known about these different commands or they're very new to you, um, I'm hoping that you're gonna use these because now they're very readily available. And they're also, they're really powerful tools. So either way, enjoy these old tricks with less clicks. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you a brand new feature which is the ability to save out groups and reload them when you need them. Super useful. I'll see you in the next tutorial.